Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and welcome to another edition of Transformer Facts Friday. This is another news roundup show that I like to do on this channel, which again gives me the perfect opportunity to do exactly that. Keep you guys updated with things that are going on in the world of Transformers and I'll let you know what's happening with this YouTube channel. So, I'm getting on track with the Doctor Wu figures. Obviously you saw the short over the Bug Bites transformation, the review of that will be up later. Um, I've got to do Party Wallop over the weekend and again a whole abundance of other figures and other features and the comics as well. But we're going to kick off with some... I those official images now these have been sort of teased for ages that we know that they came out in japan but now they've got a proper i suppose official release everywhere this is the two earth spark characters this is aftermath and i'm pretty sure it's jawbreaker so there they are in their deluxe official hasbro packaging and i've got to confess they do look really good it looks like i suppose uh, that they've upped their game now for this second season again i have to be honest with you guys i've not watched it all yet um, yeah, it is. It's Jawbreaker as well. So I don't have any, I suppose, affiliation to these characters. Are they good? Have they made the seasons any better? Because it was a bit of a hard watch to get going, but I've heard it does get a bit better. So perhaps I do need to get back to watching it. But there you go. They're all official figures now and they're available. Talking of things that are available, these have been spotted at Target. So these are the Hot Wheels skateboards, that, again, that were previewed um, a couple of months back, but now they've started shuts, uh, appearing in stores. These ones in particular were in California, Missouri, and Texas. So what we've got here is a combination of a few different pictures. So for those of you who don't remember what they are, they are the Hot Wheels skate fingerboards, which you can see there. We've got all the main characters. Uh, there they all are out on store shelves. Um, there's something, funny enough, that I saw very briefly um, at TF Nation, but again, I suppose because they're very niche, there wasn't too many of them. Right, two more blasters. This one's the first one, the next one's going to come tomorrow. This is again from New Age. They're calling him Louie. The reason they call him Louie is because he transforms, so they're not licensed by Hasbro or Takara. <clears throat> Excuse me, this is the comic deco version of him. So, yet again, another version, slightly different head sculpt, completely different color scheme, obviously, because his appearance in the comics was very different to the cartoon, to the toy, and everything else. I think they've literally got six. Uh, versions of this mold out pretty much straight away they release the main version which is always like the tune deco and then within a month or so you see things like this um, and i've been saying all week they are changing around the uh, companions that come with them depending on which one you buy so if you do want to get all the cassettes same as hasbro same as takari you're going to need to buy multiple copies but there you go guys that is the comic book version of him again i'm still trying to stay away from Transformers 1 previews and everything at the moment because I don't want to spoil it too much for myself But if you go to the Paramount Pictures YouTube channel for your viewing pleasure There is an untold origin story. Wait, what did it say? We know that bit any I'm just gonna say um, there is another interview on there features a star studded voice cast and they're all chatting and talking away um, And it also says that it's obviously definitely been confirmed as a PG for sci-fi violence um, But basically I haven't watched the video so I haven't read any comments on it But if you want to see it head to TFW 2005 or you can google it it is the transformers one cast featurette okay so if you want to again find out more check out that again still talking of transformers one though this is the promotional posters but this is from dbox now once again in fact guys let me know what a dbox is like we've actually just got one in telford so i might go and watch this on dbox to my little boy so this is of course again different posters of the movie the dbox is all the moving seats and stuff i think it would be pretty good <clears throat> but i've not experienced any dbox films uh, yet myself and as you can see still staying with Transformers 1 this is now the Burger King Elite 1 figure so at the moment it only looks like Burger King are doing um, the figures that come with the toys that's how big it is compared to a generation 1 Bumblebee um, again these are very very basic of course they're going to be nice and hollow these are just your free toys that come with the Burger King kids meal I was going to say the happy meal but obviously that is McDonald's um, and yeah there she is it's going to be interesting to see if they make their way um, over to the UK because as I say we don't tend to get plastic toys anymore uh, with with uh, McDonald's and Burger King due to of course I suppose all the save the environment laws that they've got put in over here so yeah we don't even get plastic toys with our kids meals anymore right for anybody who's still missing on their studio series rise of the beast voyager class optimus prime another third party company this one is called cute toys let me just adjust that this is their take on it so this is a third party it's not official it's 19 centimeters tall it's got an abundance of accessories and they've added an additional to what most of the other figures haven't got a wrist the fist rotate into the arm cannon so let me show you these images you can see these images on show z but you can also see these which is where you can pre-order them by the way you can also see these via t formers so it is based 
you know, heavily on that Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime, but you can see they've changed it quite a bit, quite a bit more detail going into it. Um, it does look good, to be honest, and, you know, I do generally feel for the people who still haven't managed to get, there's the wrist turning there, we were on about, who haven't managed to get hold of their copy, because yeah, it is a great figure, um, and maybe, you know, haven't, it'll get reissued again um, further down the line, but if you can't wait that long, you can get your copy. It's called Cute Toys, and as I say, it's available on Show Z as we speak a load of an abundance of other figures as well alternate mode looks great to be honest um and there you go that's pretty much that moving on to some official stuff so this is yolo park so we've seen their nemesis prime it's been teased a couple of people that toy guy in canada's got one already which is great um so it's going to be available in september it's obviously the redeco of optimus prime and it says the release date is going to be september the first don't be, be ready for 4 p.m utc plus 8 for the official drop and again, just a couple of quick more images of that particular figure. I'm yet to experience the Optimus Prime version of the mold. I've got the Megatron one and I hear nothing but great things about it, to be honest. So something, if you collect Yolo Park figures and you want your Nemesis Prime, you can order that from September the 1st. So as always, guys, still got loads going on. I'm still trying to catch up with all the shorts that people want me to do. I've got all the additional scenes I'm going to add into the Optimus Prime video and then fingers crossed there could be something very special happening with that video uh but we'll just wait and see um i might do a live tomorrow it's not guaranteed to see what my family's doing etc but as always i will keep you posted in the community tab but as always guys thank you for the support take care